Welcome to this video showing you how to import multiple transits using Excel within Transit Designer. First of all, you need a template file. You can download an example clicking this button. Now in your template file, you have yellow columns that are optional and red columns that are mandatory. Please note that the cable ID must be unique within the same transit. Please note that the cables within the same transit must be next to each other. To achieve this, sort by transit name. The optional category fields is used to separate different cables within different openings in the frames. So the power cables will be placed in one opening, the instrument cable in the next opening, from left to right, like this. To make the categories sort from right to left, you can change this field to descending. The EMC column is used to tell the system to use any of the Rockstick EMC modules. You can choose between the Rockstick ES, PE, or BG system. To learn more about the different Rockstack EMC system, please use the system's help menu. Now we're ready for import. Now click the upload Excel file and choose a file from your computer. Now once the file is uploaded, you can check it for errors. If any errors sneak in, they will be marked in red, like this. To know what's wrong with it, you can hover it with the mouse and read the tooltip. Once your file is without errors, you can move on to preview import. This will bring you to a summary where you see how many new, updated and deleted transits that will be affected in this import, also the amount of cables and pipes. Click the Finish button to move on. Your transits are now successfully imported into the project, and you can see them right here. Now to look for potential errors within your transits, use the All Transits button. This will list all your transits in any other locations in one list. Now you can sort the list either by fill rate, to check if you have any overfill transits, or by the incomplete flag. This will show you all the transits that has any potential errors. To find out what's wrong with any of these transits, go in and go to the packing plan. Use the highlight category feature to look what categories are in. As you can see here, the power category spilled over to the next opening and made it impossible for the signal category to fit in any opening by itself. What you can do is to make manual changes to this transit and manually place the modules. Now if you accept this, then you can just click the summary and finish up the transit. Now this transit will be marked with a manually packed flag. This means that these modules will not be moved in the next import. You have made these changes and you have verified that that change is OK. So the, the system will not remove or change anything unless all of the cables in that transit disappears. Then it will be automatically arranged again. Otherwise it will be left untouched. OK. That's it for the batch import revalidation feature within Roxy Transit Designer. Thank you for watching.